Hello muffins! So you want to know whether trees are absorbing more CO2 than volcanoes are producing? Let's look at the numbers. This is a standard leaf tree. The standard grown-up leaf tree can absorb up to 22 kg of carbon dioxide a year. It means it absorbs more than 1 ton of the CO2 by the time it's 50. Now let's look at the volcanoes. Some theory first. Volcanoes can emit CO2 in two ways. First one is during eruptions, and the second one is through underground magma. Carbon dioxide from underground magma is released through vents, pores rocks, soils and water that feeds volcanic lakes and hot springs. This is a standard volcano. There is approximately 1,500 active volcanoes on land right now, and around 50 volcanic eruptions occurs every year. The sources differ, but it is estimated that on land and undersea volcanoes release 200 to 300 million tons of CO2 annually. Now back to the trees. There is approximately 3 trillion trees on Earth in 2020. So we can compare CO2 absorbed by the trees to the CO2 emitted by the volcanoes. The result is quite interesting. It shows that all the CO2 emitted by the volcanoes during one year can be absorbed by all the trees in less than two days. So in the battle trees versus volcanoes, trees are definitely a winner. That's all folks. Thanks for staying till the end. Stay tuned as more is coming.